Jordan Hill. TJ, what did you see on the fourth overtime pass that, that you had uh, going to shed just as that play developed? And then just what's sort of the feeling after a game like this, I mean, a four overtime game and, you know, it was it was so close coming down to the end? Um, what I saw, um, well, we had a, a rollout pass to the, to the right. Uh, shed was lined up to the left on the left hand side. We got a bunch right. Uh, basically in a, in a trio formation, but just all tight. Um, and no, I, I lied. We were two by two. I'm sorry, two by two. Uh, Javarius came in, in motion, uh, you know, and we had a play fake. And Tank was was immediately, immediately in the flat. Uh, I believe the, the corner uh, took him away. Uh, so, so it made me go to my second progression. I saw the backside, the, the front side safety. He tried to jump shit. I pump faked at him. He tried to jump it. Uh, which allows Shed to run by him a little bit more. Um, and, and, you know, I just got to throw a better ball, you know, to the back pile line and, and allow Shed to make a play. Um, you know, so uh, I, I I take all the criticism on that play. You know, Shed did a great job running full speed coming across, and uh, the defensive guy made a, a great play on the ball. Okay. We're going to prioritize the people that are here first. We'll go to Bennett Duranda. TJ, uh, after that sack, it seemed like you were a little ginger sort of the rest of the game. What what was sort of the process with, with you and uh, and your leg going through that? And how did you sort of feel on the field after that? Uh, well, I really couldn't move how I wanted to. Uh, you know, I, I'm a big guy, so I don't really move, you know, as much anyway. But when you're, you know, when your ankle is kind of bothering you and things of that nature, you have to get it taped up. It, 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 forces you to have to just stand in the pocket and deliver, you know, great balls, which I'm very capable of doing. But, you know, when I, when I had openings of times, I could have ran late in the game and could have got four or five yards with my legs. I just, I couldn't burst and plant off my foot. So, uh, you know, that, that, you know, hindered me and getting me back out there. But, uh, you know, yeah, I just, I just couldn't really move how I wanted to. Question from Nathan King. TJ, on that first conversion to Landon, what did you see on that play? And, and what was it about the play, how the play developed that made you want to throw it to him? Uh, well, we, we've been working on these plays, you know, since week one, you know. So uh, us going out there and executing those plays against the looks that we got were was pretty simple. You know, it's just a, a full progression read for me, um, you know, with the back in motion, things of that nature, put him, you know, make the, the, um, make the linebackers, you know, occupy him in the corner and things of that nature on the outside. But uh, Landon did a great job running a, a great route that we had been practicing all week, uh, you know, and, and I just, I put it in his, his area. He made a heck of a one-hand catch. Question from Nubias Wilbur. We can't hear you. Now. Better. Okay, cool. All right, Shelly, sorry, thanks. Um. What's going through your mind, obviously not on the field, on the play when they scored a winner there? What, what are you thinking there? I saw you guys will seem really dejected. No, I wouldn't say dejected. I would just say, uh, you know, we had an opportunity to win at the end of the game uh, and not have to go to overtime. And, and you know, stuff happens, you know. Uh, you know, the defense played a hell of a game. Uh, and, and in my mindset, after, after the touchdown, I was like, well, hell, let's go win the game. Our offense, let's not put it in our defense hands. Uh, to where they have to make a stop for us to win the game. And, uh, you know, so we took it to overtime, overtime, and, and I think that was the best decision for us at the time. We only had, what, 24 seconds left. Uh, so, you know, I, I, in my mind, I was trying to get everybody hyped up. And then uh, when they start playing the music and things of that nature, we got back hyped and got back ready to play. Brian Matthews? Uh, yes, TJ, did the coaches on the sideline there that last drive up 10 to 3 with two minutes left discuss not to go out of bounds? Was that mentioned in, in the huddle? And what do you think happened to Tank there on that play? Yeah, I think uh, I think Tank is a is a hard runner, uh, you know. So he he's fighting for every yard and every inch. I, I do believe he tried to go down at the end, uh, but he realized he was too close to the sideline. So you know, it was really nothing he could do. The defender did a great job of forcing him out of bounds. Uh, so that that was a well coached up part by by Alabama secondary uh, to force Tank out of bounds. I do it, it was coached up, uh, and I do believe Tank was trying to go down at the end, but it was too late once he got to the sideline. So, so the coach, we sorry for follow We will have two more here for TJ, Nathan King. TJ, what was your message to your guys on the sideline, just kind of as 
both teams are kind of slogging through it um, in the in the third and fourth quarter. How did you kind of kind of keep your guys focused for the overtime periods? It was the same message we've been talking about all week. Uh, if we fight, we'll finish. Uh, and and the guys did a great job, especially up front, fighting their butts off. Uh, you know, receivers did a great job catching the balls that came to them. Running backs did a great job pressing the hole. And, and like we've been talking about all week, four uh, a four yard run is a great run against this team. Uh, so as long as we kept pushing and kept fighting, then we'll finish. Uh, you know, so I. I I didn't have to really say much to the guys. They were already pumped up and ready to go. But, uh, you know, they, they were, were happy that we were in this situation because we got to go out there and prove a little more about ourselves. And the last one for TJ is from Nubias Wilburn, and then we'll go to Derek Hall. I'm just about a two point convert, that last two point conversion where obviously Bama gets to win. I know you went on the field, but what, what were you thinking as that happened? And, and what can you maybe use to maybe motivate you going forward from that? Um, just, well, I, I believe they were in a one-man route, uh, you know, and, and our guys were in a, in a perfect position. It was a heck of a throw by the quarterback, heck of a route by the receiver, <laughs> uh, and, and they simply got the job done, and we didn't. Thank you very much.